All right, we have the Middle Tennessee Lady Raiders who won their game 66-44, and they will play UAB in the semifinals tomorrow at 8 o'clock. We have head coach Rick Insel and student athletes A. Queen Hayes and Alex Johnson, and we will begin with an opening statement from coach. Well, when we shoot the ball and we execute our offensive flow like we did today early on, we're a pretty tough basketball team. And um, I was real proud of our young ladies. They did a good job. Uh, I think we had 14 field goals at halftime on nine assists, I believe, and that's pretty good. And uh, we rebounded the ball with authority. So when you do that, you're going to win games. And if you look at the free throws, we was 10 out of 11 free throws. Didn't shoot but 11, but 10 out of 11, we, we can live with that. That's what championship teams do. So I'm, I'm really, really proud of our basketball team. All right, questions for our student athletes. Hey, Queen, how were you guys able to shut them down on the defensive end, especially early? Obviously, their shooting percentage was held fairly low. I think they, they ended up with five field goals throughout the course of the first half. What were you guys able to do defensively? To um, defense win games, so we practiced hard on defense, and that was our main objective, play defense, keep the ball out of the middle, and help side. Um, it was plenty of times they went in the locker room, and we was in huddles, and they talked about help side defense. Um, one shot, we had to stay on the boards the whole game. Alex, you got off two. Scoring 21 points in the first quarter. How big was that knowing that they came off an exciting win yesterday in double overtime? I think the biggest thing was just sticking to our rules. No matter what they did, as long as we stayed within our system, we would be good. And we knew that from the tip. Um, Coach Enzo harps on that all the time. Do what we do. We can't worry about what the other team is doing. As long as we're taking care of ourselves, we'll come out with the W. Hey, Queen, you guys get um, a third look at UAB. What kind of challenges do they present as you look forward to tomorrow? Um, we're not worrying about them. We're going to focus on ourselves. we got to play our game. We can't play in today's game. We just got to come with the energy, and we'll be ready. All right, we'll let our student athletes get back to the locker room, and we will continue with questions for Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, looking at what you guys did, were able to do defensively in this one. Um, what, what did you see as the difference in that early going, especially in that first quarter? Well, we, we've been working on our defense pretty hard and heavy for the last week. Uh, you know, at one time we were in the top ten in the country defensively, and then we, we've kind of slacked off, so we went back to our basics from week one. And uh, we knew what we had to do, and they went out there and executed the plan. They, we kept the ball out of the center, kept it baseline, sidelines. So able to give some help side help like uh, Queen talked about. They got a couple of skip passes in that I wasn't real happy with. But, uh, you know, as you look at the scoreboard, sometimes kids play into the scoreboard. And that's, I think there for about four or five minutes we did. Coach, you made eight three-pointers tonight. And you were shooting at over 60%, I think there in the third quarter. What kind of effect does the three ball have on your offense? Well, I've, I've told everybody, when we shoot the ball well, we're, we're, we're as good as anybody in the country. Now, we're not as good as maybe Connecticut or Baylor, but uh, when we go out and shoot the ball and we play our defensive schemes, and we can, we're, we're a pretty good basketball team. And when we don't knock down shots, you know, we're not even average. But uh, when I saw the ball going in early, I thought right then, you know, it's going to be a pretty good night. Coach, uh, similar question that I had for A. Queen. Um, getting a, a third look at your opponent tomorrow. Um, when you look at it, what kind of challenges do they present uh, to you and your team? Well, you know, we pretty much manhandled in Middle Tennessee. I think it was, what, 30 maybe one time. I don't know if it got to 40. Uh, but I know it got over 30. Um, and then we went down third place and we're up 17 at halftime. And then the scoreboard operators took over. So. Uh, you know, if they didn't bring their scoreboard people, we're going to be all right. You know, we had a 30-minute delay or 28-minute delay. But, you know, UAB's got a good basketball team. They got two good shooters uh, in Kuzmanic and what's the other? Childress. Childress they, they, and then they got Barnes, which we think is the most underrated player in our conference. Uh, just a tremendous point guard, knocks down shots, a winner. Just puts them on their back and, and basically does things to help them get over the hump. And she was the one that kind of was the catalyst that, at their place when, uh, of bringing them back. So I understand she had five threes over there today to start the game. So, you know, our kids know them. They know us. 
there's not going to be any secrets. And, uh, you know, I, it'll come down who just plays the hardest and who wants it the most. I, I, and I'd say that along those areas, we're, we're pretty hungry right now. We're pretty hungry. We, we felt like with the schedule that we had this year, uh, we let some games get away from us. I think we lost nine games. We probably should have won five, maybe six of those, to be honest with you. We didn't. We felt like that coming into this tournament, we wanted to be in a position to get in that large bid. And we know we, we, we didn't take care of business like we should have. So now we got to take care of business. That's what our players are thinking about right now. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you all.